And here are these sites. Let's start with selective potential since that was the question. Uh, this is a site by a, a woman who's a, a lifestylist. It's actually a square space site. So when you're looking at sites for inspiration, they don't have to be WordPress. Uh, they can be any, any kinds of sites to give you an idea of what you might wanna, wanna do. She's done a real good job, job with, with uh, using her blog categories for her site. So if we uh, take a look at it now, uh, Selective Potential is the name of it. And uh, this young woman is uh, travels around and her passion is to, her goal is to see all of the lighthouses in Michigan. And, but in the process, she, uh, and these are blog uh, categories, which we'll show you in a minute, <clears throat> which makes this information more, more accessible. So if I click on personal style, I'm gonna get her blog uh, articles, everything that has to do with personal style. She's promoting outfits for the various seasons, the latest outfits, and she has links in her social media to uh, other sites and conversations that are linked to products. And there's a, uh, there, there must be a re reciprocity here. She's getting some uh, income from the products and the services that she's promoting. So this is a, uh, and this, I believe this is a sideline business. She has a full-time occupation uh, in her field of uh, digital marketing, but this is a side uh, area of income for her. And it, it, it builds into this hobby that she has of touring lighthouses in, uh, around the state of Michigan. So it's, it's, uh, it's a, sort of a fascinating example of weaving the personal interest and the professional interest so people kind of get to know you. And in the process of getting to know you, uh, they will value more your, and understand more your expertise and possibly give you a job. But that, that's how it works with, with networking. Okay, and then she has category and travel and she talks about various posts and uh, trips she's taken around Michigan and, uh, and what her adventures have been. So I, I just think visually it's a very arresting, a very interesting, uh, very interesting site. Uh, I've got some other examples. The uh, perimeter is a uh, UK photographer who hiked all the way around England, around the coast and took pictures and it's very, a very now this is different. This is a very visual blog. It's very basically just the photos where they were taken, um, and an opportunity for people to to leave comments. <clears throat> so that's a uh, the he's also got some very practical uh, FAQs and the map that he took uh, showing the journey, uh, the kit list of items that he took. But the the real impact is the the visual nature of the site. And then this is a more traditional blog. This is Mind the Workplace is by a professor in Boston who's an ex expert on workplace issues. He gets into things like uh, uh, bullying in the workplace, how to deal with diff difficult supervisors. Now, this is not as, as visually fancy as the other two sites. It's more a typical straight blog he's doing straight content, but he's doing it on a very disciplined basis. You have to, if you go into doing a blog or even a website, you should be doing updates on a fairly uh, consistent basis. Uh, I would say at least every, every other week. Uh, so that, because this is gonna enhance your search searchability and people being able to find your uh, information. So this is a, he's got some minimal website elements uh, who this gentleman is, Mr. Yamada, uh, and why he's doing this. But he's built up, you see in the right hand, uh, the right hand side, he has over a million hits on his website. He's been doing this for several years. Again, he has a, a, a academic position, position at a Boston University, but this is, uh, it showcases his expertise in uh, the workplace and uh, 
and he, and again, he learns a lot. He learns a lot by doing these articles. Uh, they're, they're either his own ideas or he's sharing content from, uh, from other individuals. Now, last is my own website. We can look at this in more uh, greater detail later on. This is for my new business. <clears throat> and in doing the website, I, I knew a lot about WordPress and web design, but boy, I learned a lot more by actually doing this. So doing the website in your field of interest will deepen your understanding of how best to explain your expertise and how best to showcase it. So I learned a lot in doing the, the navigation. Uh, another, you can see I'm an American history buff talking about personal interests. This is Washington crossing the Delaware. So I used uh, a, a public domain images largely from Wikipedia. Uh, you have to be mindful of things like uh, copyright and when you can use images and material on Google. Um, so this is a public domain image that I use for the purpose of my website. And then another feature is uh, I mentioned the term call to action. This is a good example. So I've got an orange button in the middle of the page about today's webinar. So you click on the, on the button. There's all the information for our program uh, right here today. So that's an example of sort of getting your arms around some sites. Uh, these are some, we're getting close now to doing our, our WordPress demo. Uh, these are some basic concepts that uh, uh, we're going to take take into consideration as we look at uh, WordPress. And there's going to be a, a basic difference between a dashboard versus a site view. So this slide explains the demo. We're going to get into the demo in just a minute. <clears throat> the, we're going to demo a blog for a job seeker solopreneur. It's going to be entitled Marketing Maven. Uh, this is something I've a, a template or a framework, and this is fictional. You're going to see, you're going to have an opportunity to learn lots of Latin. There's a, lots of Latin dummy text. It's just a a framework of an idea for a marketing site using my photo in the process. Uh, then we're going to look at the dashboard controls as an administrator, uh, looking at both the front end of the site and then the back end. I think we'll have time. I want to look at a more complex site. Uh, again, I've done another fictional te template of uh, volunteers to help community libraries. It's a nonprofit. And I think it's another good example. And then we're going to review some, some setup steps that would be, uh, I think, useful to you.